Everyone knows how super Superman is. He could punch right through a guy, but he never does. Or he could jump all the way up to the International Space Station, but again, he never does. Why doesn't he do that? But the most famous superpower that Superman has is probably his most infamous too, at least uh, if you're Batman. That's his Kryptonian heat vision. Ooh. So how does it work? Over the years, Superman's heat vision has been many things, from literally heat, to lasers, to pure energy. But we know for sure that he gets his ability from the sun, and that the comics have established at least once that heat vision is a release of absorbed solar energy. If Superman is absorbing energy from the sun, we have to know two things. First, how much energy the sun is putting out, and how much of Superman can absorb it. The sun is crazy powerful. Every second, it's putting out over 100 petajoules of energy. If you captured all this energy for just two minutes, it could power the United States for an entire year. And at the distance that the Earth is from the sun, that means that every square meter of the Earth is receiving around 1400 watts, or 1400 joules of energy per second. The average human body has around two square meters of skin, or enough to make all of the floor mats in your car. Think about that for a second. If we assume that all of Superman's body surface area goes to absorbing sunlight, uh, and it's, it's everything because it's not all visible light in terms of radiation, it's UV and it's x-rays and all that stuff, then Superman at any one point in time could be receiving 2,800 watts of power. So if that's the energy source we're working with and Superman is kind of like a super efficient solar panel that converts 100% of solar energy into laser eye energy, how long would he have to wait until he could laser a building? So let's make a chart. It's going to show the energy that Superman can store from the sun over time. So this would be time in seconds and energy. G in jewels always label the axes. So how powerful can Superman's heat vision get? Well, after maybe one minute, Superman's eyes can let out a burst of 168 kilojoules, or around the same amount of energy that one of the most powerful lasers in the entire world can put out at the National Ignition Facility. After an hour, Superman's eyes might release 10 megajoules of energy, or 10 times the energy of a car moving down the highway. After a whole day, Superman would be able to release 240 megajoules of energy, or like exploding 58 kilograms of TNT from his eyes into stuff. After five days, Superman's eyes would release one gigajoule of energy, or like a lightning bolt literally coming from his eyes. After one month, all the energy coming from Superman's eyes would be enough to melt seven tons of steel. And after one year, Superman can release the same amount of energy as the largest non-nuclear bomb ever designed, the massive air ordnance blast. Again, from to stuff. But how long would Clark Kent have to wait to unleash his newest superpower, the Super Flare? About a year ago, in Superman 38, the hero discovered that he could release all of the solar energy in his cells at once, resulting in an explosion much like that of a nuclear bomb, instantly incinerating everything within a quarter mile. If Superman wanted to go Nova with the energy of maybe a World War II nuclear weapon, or 63 trillion joules, then he would only have to save up for 713 years which at that point he could just wait for everyone to die. 
There are ways to make Superman's heat vision stronger or to shorten the amount of time Superman has to wait until he has the same amount of energy. He could increase the surface area of his skin, which again sounds gross, or he could get closer to the sun for a while to get more energy from it. If he flew as close to the sun as our planet Mercury is, then he would only have to wait um, 70 years to go Nova like he does in the comics. Or he could just find a larger star that puts out more energy, perhaps a red supergiant. Yeah, red. Come on, look at science. Thank you so much for watching. How many times could Superman look at you with his x-ray vision before you got cancer? <laughs> um, well, if maybe a chest x-ray is, let's say, 20 microsieverts, which is just a measurement of radiation, uh, radiation damage, and the lowest amount of radiation in a year that has been linked to cancer is 100 microsieverts. So if you do the math, then Superman could look at um, whatever he wants to look at inside of you or on you uh, about 5,000 times before there'd be a serious problem. So, the more you know.